okay, okay, so have fun, but talk smart. And I'm gonna say knowing Taylor Swift's favorite number does not count as appropriate football chatter. Would you agree? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Alex Curie with KSL Sports is keeping us in the cool with three one-liners to toss out and impress your Super Bowl crowd. And this is not to undermine, I mean, women know football. Yeah, I don't wanna, l listen, I'm not gonna be the guy no. who shows up and goes, you guys don't know anything. That's, that's up to you. You no. tell your audience that if they don't know. I already got in trouble with Swifties once this week. I'm not gonna- What did I'm you gonna, say? Uh, because like we did a whole thing where we were trying to help out. Hey, here's how, here are some of the things. Let me tell you what a tight end does. And it's like, how dare you, man's playing tight end. I'm like, tight end is no. not an easy thing. No, this, Come right, on. right, there's, there's, it's nuanced. Stuff to, there's stuff to talk it's about. Nuanced, yes. No mansplaining. And Alex Curie is the guy to do this in the best way. That's just why we called you. <laughs> Thank you. But we do want some vocabulary. We want some vernacular so we can contribute okay. in a meaningful way. So, three phrases. I'll say them. You okay. provided these, and then you fill in the color for us. Yes, absolutely. Um, you could say, hey, we are watching the most expensive commercials in history. Yeah, it seems like that every year now, right? But it's going to be $7 million, $7 million plus for a 30 second commercial now. So if you want to be that wild. person, yeah, you can do show up and be like, hey, listen, because some of these companies buy two or three one minute, uh, you know, so then you're talking in the 20, $30 million range of what they're spending, but you can be the person who goes, hey, that 30 seconds of that commercial that we all hated and thought it was really dumb, $7 million for that. <laughs> Ta ching commercial. All right, phrase number two, Mahomes earned Purdy's entire yearly salary in the first 10 minutes of the season. It's a very weird thing, but. This is like, <laughs> interpersonally, this is yes. so mind blowing to me. I know, but at the same time, I mean, Brock Purdy is almost, a, he earns almost a million dollars a year, but this is the stratosphere of a top level quarterback in the NFL. Patrick Mahomes signed a 10, or a 10 year, $500 million contract just a couple of years ago. Yeah. He even re-upped it a little bit. So we're talking a half a billion dollar guy. He's already bought into the baseball team there in Kansas City. He is a Kajillion, Kajillion, or he could challenge Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl. <laughs> I don't know who's going to pick up that, that uh, sweet tab, but anyway, bottom line is, yes, he earns about $50 million a year. Brock Purdy is still on his rookie contract, so they're get him a, the 49ers have him at a massive value, but no, he could not even afford a, uh, a, a Super Bowl commercial. He that pulls at my female heartstrings. <laughs> I feel matronly toward him. Like, pay the guy more. He's making plenty of money. He will. You know, this is what happens in football, too. What they do is they go, you got us a Super Bowl, they're going to retroactively pay the guy. And most quarterbacks, once they get to that point where oh, they're they really, will, really they'll good. they will? They'll back pay him? Well, it's not even about back pay. They're like, thanks for bringing that. But, I mean, a, an average, like above average quarterback in the NFL now is 35 to $40 million a year. He's just a rookie. So, yeah. I mean, not a rookie. He's on his rookie contract still. So, they're getting him for cheap. I met his grandparents over the summer in a random Ferris wheel situation. He's got to be. He's, he, they were so cute about him. Of course. Roommates, living, scrapping it together, driving a yes. car he drove in college. I mean, just a cute little story. He lives with one of his offensive linemen. They split the rent. <laughs> it's, that's how expensive it is in San Francisco. So you got to figure it out. His grandparents were so cute. <laughs> okay, here's line number three. If the 49ers win, they tie for most trophies won. Yeah, I was debating between this and you talking about Steve Spagnolo, the defensive coordinator for the Chiefs, and I thought, Let's keep it kind of more eye level still. Neutral. But yeah, this is, uh, this, the 49ers have won five in their franchise history. If they get a sixth, then you're talking Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, you're talking Patriots, Tom Brady kind of level. But that, that, those are the ones with the most Super Bowl wins ever. Uh, but Patrick Mahomes and the, and the Chiefs are coming back, man. They're, they're catching up too. So this will be their third Super Bowl win in, uh, in, in, in five tries if they can mm. do it. So we'll see. And like, what does a tight end do like anyway? Like, no, just see, kidding, I'm not just kidding. This. I'm not going to fall for this. How does a sports guy watch the Super Bowl? Are you fun to watch uh, the Super I'm Bowl I'm not with? fun to watch it with because I'm like grumpy about like, oh, neither of these are my team. I don't really care. And so I get very, I, I can get jaded. Sports guys get jaded watching uh, sports. I'm telling you, it's the weirdest thing ever. It's are like, you in work mode when you watch A, a little bit, just yeah. because you, you can't help but break some things down. But I enjoy halftime show. I love the halftime shows. Usher is going to be amazing. I'm going to figure out, I want to see if they actually try to figure out getting Taylor Swift out of the suite oh. onto the field somehow because they don't pay the performers for the Super Bowl. That's part of the thing is it's all free. So it's like don't expect any, any pay. So maybe she can come down. You think she might? Do a half a song. No. I'm teasing not, it. Maybe it happens. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Why I'll not? be the sports expert in this situation and say no. <laughs> She's not going to. All right. Coverage next week from you guys? Oh, I mean, top to bottom. Come on. We lament, we lament the end of football season with the Super Bowl. <laughs> so it becomes our boring season. Just jazz and college football the rest A of the A lot year. to talk about there, too. But yes. thanks for making us look smart. Absolutely. Alex Curry, we love you.